right, five minutes after nine o'clock, it's time to talk about technology and gadgets. Jim George is not in the studio. I don't know where he is, but Anthony Tartaglia is in the studio. Anthony is with American Cable Services and works with Jim, so he'll be able to answer our questions. Some of the topics today, it sounds like, are going to be controversial. Maybe we have an opinion about some of these things. One week from today, a lot of people will be right here at this mall. This mall will be very busy one week from today, and uh, people will be buying things that are technological, te- techy things. Good morning, Anthony. How are you doing? Good morning, Larry. I'm doing well, thanks. Do, do you like Anthony or do you prefer Tony? Either one. Either, Either one. way. What does your mother call you? <laughs> My mother calls me Tony. She does? Yeah. So do all your friends call you Tony? Um, for the most part. Or do yeah. you consider this this is a more professional environment, so we're not having a beer, we, you're Anthony. <laughs> right, and that's how I usually do it. At, at work, I'm Anthony. At, at, uh, when I'm not at work, I'm Tony. So. No, okay, okay. <laughs> well, we'll call you Anthony until we go to have a beer with you or something. Sounds good. And we'll be Tony. So um, you, you were telling me something off the air. Now, we, we were going to bring into the uh, to the table today, you know, just the, the normal things we would do about this time of year is lots of stuff for sale, and things are being reduced in prices. Right. So I and sometimes I think it's just a little opinion uh, that we, we reduce the price, we get a new thing, mm-hmm. and it really doesn't do me personally much difference because I'm still going to go on Facebook, I'm still going to go on YouTube, and right. I don't do a whole lot of technical stuff anyway. It's, it's like there was a when the Back to the Future anniversary came around, yeah. remember that, or the uh, the date that was yeah. predicted. Okay, yeah. so they showed up on Jimmy Kimmel. And he's and, and Doc Brown, Doc Brown says, "Oh my God, this is a mini computer, and it's got all these." Th-. And they go, "Yeah, and all we use it for is to text messages." <laughs> yeah, so surf the web, yeah. yeah so. But anyway, you have uh, something else. Well, yeah, there's um, right now. There, the two of the big cellular carriers, T- T-Mobile and Verizon, are discussing um, ways in which they can increase uh, capacity on their network by using the unlicensed uh, spectrum which is the five gigahertz spectrum that you and I use at home for our Wi-Fi. Um, so there's a little bit of a, a debate going on right now between advocates, uh, consumer advocates and watchdog groups about uh, wanting to protect that unlicensed spectrum for consumers because we've become dependent upon it. We have Wi-Fi networks everywhere. We rely on it for, for our own data usage um, and it's it's free to use. Uh, the FCC is it's, it's unlicensed, so you don't have to pay any right, kind right, of right. fee for it. Um, but now that the cellular carriers are wanting to actually get in on that game and use some of the unlicensed frequency, um, they're afraid that they're, they're just going to cause conflict with our with our home networks. Okay. Now, this mm-hmm. is where I need to ask questions. I, I hopefully, yeah. I'm not the only one who needs these questions answered. Yeah. Because right now, I'm confused. Okay. So... W- uh, at home, I have a uh, a modem which mm-hmm. has a what do you call it, a router, right? And, right. The, and the router sends out a Wi-Fi signal. Correct. So yeah. that's kind of like a transmitter. It is. It's a it's a mini radio. It's a. It's is it transmit mm-hmm. and receive? It does both. Yeah, it does both. Right. Okay. Okay. So now it reaches in my case next door. That's as far as it goes because Doug uses it as well. Right. Yeah. Doug, <laughs> Doug lives next door. Okay. So so the point is that's like a little transmitter and receiver. So how would what they are doing going to affect me? Because that's my transmitter, that's my receiver. Yeah, so it's it, they're going to be putting uh, multiple transmitters on, on their towers that will broadcast on the same wavelength, the same frequency. So at the same time that your router's potentially trying to talk to your devices at home, there's going to be more noise floor. There's going to be more uh, chatter and activity on the same frequency, which is going to potentially reduce your overall throughput and your overall effectiveness of your network at home. So it could interfere? I mean, I mean, to, it could. To put it into perspective, be able to li- like listening to a radio and another signal comes in? It, yeah, it could. It could be like uh, you're listening, driving down the road, you're listening to your, your radio in your car, and then suddenly there's a lot of static because you're you're in the vicinity of another transmitter uh, on the same frequency. Okay. okay. But now when you go online, when when you go and see the channel lineup on a mm-hmm. cable system, mm-hmm. and then you see the same channel like three or four different times, but then it has like a point something on it on the TV or, or on the radio, Yeah. can't they still use that? What's wrong with that technology? Why do they have to cross over into the Wi-Fi area? Well, there's uh, there's multiple ways to break up the frequency into chunks of um, uh, megahertz. So you can you can chop it up and, and dice it up um, into five megahertz, ten megahertz, twenty, forty. Okay, um, they they can. And there's there's also a protocol called listen before talk, which uh, in in the wireless technology arena, uh, transmitters are actually very polite. They listen to the airwaves before they talk. So they they make sure that there's um, 
uh, a lull in the activity the, on, on that channel before they start transmitting. So there's the potential that they could do it in, in, a, in a manner that is polite and respectful of all the other f frequencies going on. Um, and they can use a channel uh, extension like you're talking about where you're, you're not on the channels 1, 6, or 11 per se you know, properly, but you can um, modify your signal to go between two channels, essentially. Uh, but that would require a shift in the technology that we use, So, because our, our current smartphones and tablets and things like that, they don't operate in between those channels like that. So they would have to be reprogrammed, so you'd have to have new technology emerge. Uh -huh. I don't think they would go through the trouble of, of that. Gosh. But really? Mm -hmm. well, and, and that was a good observation, Robin. I mean, th yeah, there's all those things. And, mm -hmm. uh, th and before we went on the air, I was trying to ask about VHF. I think I called it VHS. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> it's been so long. VHF. But v VHF was what we used to watch Channel 2 through Channel 13 on, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 2 through 13. Um, and we got rid of that. And what I heard, it was being freed up for something. I don't know what it was being freed up for. Yeah, I've heard the same thing. And I couldn't, I couldn't actually remember or tell you right now what that is being freed up for or what the future plans are for that um, but th I, I don't know if, like f what the FCC's plans are huh. with that frequency and now well th this is really interesting because my mother dropped uh, a century link and then she put her phone through her uh, cable through Cox cable mm -hmm. and it's weird because sometimes she'll pick up the phone and I know I've been there I'll pick up the phone and you hear the TV coming through the phone uh -huh. oh really so this is probably going to affect the people that have the phones also it depends on the frequency that it uses. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wow. Anthony, we have a phone call. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on there with Anthony Tartaglia. Uh, good morning, Anthony. Uh, hey, good morning. Uh, you know, with all these uh, mergers and things that the uh, government is more or less okaying, uh, to me, they're just going to be creating uh, multiple bureaucracies and multiple. Uh, uh, monopolies and to me that is not good for American people or the country because then you're only going to have one or two outfits to work with and if you don't like it then, you know what they tell you go fly a kite so many words putting it politely but uh, uh, I think this should concern everybody I mean when you have a big bank that can lose six billion dollars and still supposedly pay out dividends and pay big salaries, etc. I think that's not too big to fail. That's uh, too big and should be broke up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyway, uh, to me, the, uh, everything seems to be going to one or two big companies, and eventually uh, the consumer will be told what they can do and how much it's going to cost them, whether they like it or not. And whether you want it or not, you're going to be charged for the same thing. I'll hang up and listen to your mm. answer. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, you know, in, in a way, I've, the more I think about it, I, I kind of wonder what, um, what the public feels about the, the, the big companies like this are utilizing an unlicensed spectrum. It's a spectrum that they, that they don't have to pay for. It's been opened up for, for um, general use, essentially. And w you know, with some restrictions on transmitter strength and things, but if the, if, the, if the large cellular companies are planning to use these frequencies that are essentially public domain frequencies, uh, and then turn around and charge us to have a data plan that would utilize that, I just wonder how you know how gen the general public would would feel about that. I haven't made my decision yet. So uh, just forgive me for not really having this clear in my mind. In my mind, it doesn't it, the the signal I use for my Wi-Fi goes from my house ne to next door and that's it. Mm -hmm. They would need something much more powerful than that, right? That's, so they they would have to boost that that same signal, that same frequency I use. Well, there's a difference. Your your router is probably four or five feet off the ground and um, with a signal strength probably, well, a transmitter strength probably 200 to 400 milliwatts. Uh, I think the FCC currently limits uh, frequency in the ISM bands to one watt plus a certain amount of antenna gain. Uh, so it, unless the FCC were to change that and, and allow them an exemption on that, their towers being 200 feet off the ground would allow a greater radius of that signal. Uh, so you'd probably get a kilometer, maybe, well, let's say a mile um, out of it. But the, um, 
That's the difference. That's the reason why your router only goes a, a few hundred really? feet away, and then a cellular signal so, could go uh, about a mile. This is wow. a uh, you make me have a question. Mm -hmm. If I r raised my my, my what is it? Your router, router, your, yeah, your higher router. than what it is now. If I put mm -hmm. it on the refrigerator or something, mm -hmm. it, it would go farther. Yes, it mine's on the refrigerator. That's probably yes. why my son put it up there. No, I, it I might have no be. Clue. I have no be. clue why it was up there. <laughs> well, now I know. Oh, wow. I know Doug is happy right now. <laughs> yeah, he's jumping up and down. Cause, see, sometimes cause he uses my, 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 my Wi-Fi. Yeah. He and, uses and sometimes it'll drop internet. off, and then he'll call yeah. me up. He'll say, can you reboot it? And I'll say, it's, a, it's on. It doesn't need to be rebooted. And right. It just it, it goes up and down, I guess. Yeah. So your home router, it would, the range could marginally increase. Uh, it, a lot has to do with antenna gain. Your, your home routers have an omnidirectional antenna. And bef without getting too far into the weeds here, antenna gain is the um, signal strength in a particular direction. So if with an omnidirectional antenna, it's going to emit in a 360 degree pattern. But depending on the gain, a lower hmm. gain, it's going to emit more like a, a spherical shape, more like a donut, essentially, where a higher gain, it'll emit like a lighthouse light, would be like a beam that would go out and sweep at 360. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Wow. We have, we have another phone call. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air with Anthony. Good morning, everybody. Yes, uh, to clarify the statement about VHF television, uh, channel 2 through 6 are currently not in use, but channel 7 through 13 are still being used. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. Okay. I wonder where my yeah, 2 through 6 comes from. Channel 7 in this area is the Marion County Educational uh, uh, Station. Uh, channel 11 is, the, is the, uh, the, the channel on which WESH comes in in this area. And I've forgotten uh, the other. But I can, but, so uh, I, I could take yeah, my still in use. So I could take my old VHF TV and, and turn it on and still get that stuff. Well, you'd need an audio to you know you need an analog to digital converter, but yes. Oh, it's oh, so it's still using VHF, but it's digital now. It's digital. Ah, yeah, okay. it's digital, not not analog. Uh, but well, yeah, oh. this is why I don't watch box, TV. <laughs> uh, in between uh, the antenna and and the television set. Uh, you would still receive stations uh, seven through through thirteen. Mm -hmm. Are the programs any good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there, you go. All right. there you go. <laughs> thank, thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Um, and by the way, by the way, Jim, are you still there? Oh, I yes, I'm here. Okay, you you're promoting something, and, and uh, Doug is very excited about the ham sandwich. Ham fest. Yeah, the, uh, ham fest. The, uh, you're doing um, ham fest. Uh, uh, that's our uh, um, Silver Springs Radio Club. Uh, it's a fundraising activity so we can continue our public service activity within the county and we have a lot of vendors of radio equipment coming and we're going to do the amateur radio uh, technician and general test also and uh, um, you know there's going to be all kinds of uh, uh, there's going to be a big swap meet in the parking lot uh, and this sounds cool I and mean, this is a week December 5th December 5th okay. December the 5th yeah uh, a week from, from Saturday uh, 8 in the morning until uh, about 4 uh, a lot of guys start packing up a little earlier than that okay uh, uh, we'll keep we'll keep promoting it but I, I just want to let you know that there's at least one guy here that is very excited about it so. <laughs> yeah all right thank uh, you Jim uh, Right, at the Florida day. National Guard Armory. That's right, at the, the at National, National Guard Armory. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure we know where it is. All right, we, we'll mention that again. But let me uh, take a break, and we'll be right back. Anthony Tartaglia sitting in for Jim George. This is the. Uh, we don't really have a name for the show. We just call it Jim George. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> the weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. For this Friday, intervals of clouds and sun. There can be a shower or two. High seventy eight to eighty two. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight with a shower mainly along the coast. Overnight lows ranging from the mid-60s inland to 73 along the coast. For tomorrow and Sunday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers. The high tomorrow, 78 to 82. Sunday's highs in the 70s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Ah, ouch. Does pain have you glued to the couch? Yes, unfortunately it's true that every year we must get older, but that doesn't mean we have to deal with pain in our back, knees, or shoulder. If your muscles and joints are sore, don't worry anymore. Come get acupuncture from me and you'll be pain free. Acupuncture starts as low as $35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane. 
Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with a family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cala Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. 22 minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. This is getting to be kind of an exciting time of the year because uh, tomorrow's Light of Ocala, a week from today's Black Friday, a week from yesterday is Thanksgiving. The whole Christmas season kicks into gear. Anthony Tartaglia is here. He is sitting in for Jim George uh, with American Cable Services. And uh, so we've been talking about something kind of political in nature, if you think about it. So do we have, are they asking for the public to have any input on these things or... Um, not that I've seen yet. I, I think they're um, well. They're they were talking about having s- this technology ready to go by 2016, which is just around the corner. Yeah. And I'm not sure if they're calling for any public input, um, but I do know that there are there are two sides to this conversation, and uh, you've got the carriers on one side saying that they'll they'll respect the spectrum and uh, they'll tailor it so that it doesn't right. interfere and then the watchdog groups the consumer advo- advocacy groups like um, Google and a few others they are help you know they're on the side of the consumer they want to protect that Wi-Fi spectrum because it's in you know it's in their best interest and it's in our best interest that we um, don't suddenly find ourselves um, encumbered by this um, this extra move that carriers are taking in, in a way it sort of reminds me of net neutrality mm-hmm. because the net neutrality uh, debate, was one of those debates that, um, in an effort to have an, a, an intelligent conversation about it, I tried to figure out how I felt about it because I didn't know. Yeah. I was reading both sides and I was thinking, I have no idea. So, Jim, I asked Jim, what do you think about it? I feel you're in the middle of this, this is your business. Mm-hmm. And he, he was for it. So I said, okay, well, oh, okay. if you're for it, then I'm for it. Were you for it? Anthony, back. Uh, at, I mean, they passed it anyway, so it's, it's in effect yeah, now. But yeah, I was for it, definitely. Um, let's go back to the phone. Good, I think. Good morning. You're on the air with Anthony. Are you there? Are you there? Is there somebody there? No. Okay. It looks like it. I know. I, I can't, on the can't see. All right, let me go back to the phone. This line. Good morning. You're on the air. Uh, good morning, it's Sunny again. Yeah. <clears throat> you're talking about the. Uh, Wi-Fi and and how that's set up. Uh, I went to uh, the same company that uh, Robin has, and I bought the stuff, and they helped me set it up. And I had the Wi-Fi signal. Uh, I was looking on uh, my computer, and it said I have my neighbor in the back, and I gave his name, and Mm. I have another person. And uh, I was told that you have to... uh, set up some kind of a security thing, otherwise they could uh, either inadvertently or advertently or, uh, tap into what the heck you're doing on your computer. Now, am I correct in assuming that basically 
I have my own little uh, transmitter and uh, everything else going, my receivers, which would be the computer or iPad or Android. And uh, <clears throat> my that would be my domain, and I'll hang up and listen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so, as a matter of fact, yeah, you're absolutely correct. You have your own... Um, miniature, you know, radio there at your house that's transmitting and receiving a signal, and your devices are therefore also transmitting and receiving the signal. That is a two-way communication. So, um, any device that uses Wi-Fi is a radio, has a radio in it. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and, and by the way, and we know Sunny who just called, and, and uh, Sunny, you've come a long way. It wasn't that long ago. I went to for a Christmas gift. I went to Best Buy. I got my son a, a sound system or something, and, and it was too big to fit in my car. Mm -hmm. So I had to wait for Huge. my son. I said, I got to give you a Christmas gift early. It's too big. I can't get it in my car. Okay. Can you come pick it up? So while I'm waiting outside Best Buy, Sonny's walking into the store, <laughs> and he is so ticked off. He's got this camera that doesn't take film. He says, what good is this? <laughs> and I said, no, do you take that card and they'll, they'll develop it for you. Ah, I'm taking it back. <laughs> so, Sonny, to hear you say you've got Wi-Fi and tablets and computers. <laughs> Thank you, Sonny. You've come a long way. Yeah. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and, we, and we all have. I mean, if you think about it. You know, I've resisted it for well, as long a, as I could. There's a, Robin is really into photography. Mm hmm so sh there's a camera, right? And I guess this is not new, but uh, now the cameras have Wi-Fi technology. Oh, yeah. So, so that's not new, right? Yeah, but it would new. be new for her if mm -hmm. she got a new camera. Yeah. Now, what do you use that for? Okay, so <laughs> instead of having a um, uh, a card that you store all your pictures on with a Wi-Fi-enabled camera, uh, and these are like the, the usually the excuse me the bigger um, DS, DSLR cameras. It's um, like twenty two point something pixels. Yeah, yeah, they're huge. They're like professional grade. Anyway, these um, you would just if you're at your studio or something like that, you just use your Wi-Fi connection and you uh, all the pictures that you took would instantly go back to your server when be stored there. Or like to there. the cloud or really? something like that. Yeah, yeah, you'd use. Well, how, how do account. you? Okay, wow. now most people don't take pictures that close. Mm -hmm. Most people go out. They go vacations or, or right. to ball games and things. Yep. And Yep. Or Disney. Cruise ships. But so then you'd have a card. You'd, you'd have a card in okay. your camera. It would right. store the you know the the photos on there until you got home, and then you wouldn't need to like plug your phone. You know your I'm sorry, plug your camera in. Uh, you'd just use the Wi-Fi ability to 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 send your photos back to your computer to your really? server. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. That is cool. If we could learn how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. You know, that's that's the key. You have to learn how to use it, and you have to have the big bucks to buy one. <laughs> were these... Oh, sorry, I don't want that on. Were, were these TVs here when you got here? Were, were these yeah. here? They were? Yeah. Okay. We talked about TV technology last week. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of half of what it's about. Maybe more than half. I, I think I think a lot of what we do is, is uh, TV-related. Mm -hmm. and, and, and really does amount to what's on TV, doesn't it? And yeah. People talk about shows all the time. There must be something good out there. There are a lot of good shows out there. What's your favorite one? Do you have a favorite? I like The Walking Dead, personally. Oh, my kids love that, too. Yeah. Funny? Yeah. Scary? What is it? it? It's, a, it's a dramatic thriller that based on a zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're about their age, so yeah. they, they, you guys just love that. I, how, I can, got I my ask, daughter can I ask how old you are? Uh, 39. So you may be too old. So when when Robin and I play, we play music. We yeah. do the theme song for Zelda. Oh yeah. And guys who are like around thirty, they mm -hmm. will snap their head. What? Yes. <laughs> what? They're playing <laughs> they Zelda. Think it's cool. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. That was great. Uh, quickly, we got to uh, give a phone number. What's the phone number for? Uh, so you can reach me directly at uh, 352-443-6828. Okay. All right. Thank you. Your <laughs> personal number. I'm not so sure what I was doing right there. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back. Thank you, Anthony. Broadcasting Thank you, from Larry. the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. This is a Fox News alert. I'm Lillian Wu. A hostage standoff in Mali, a company statement from the Radisson Hotel, says 124 guests and 13 staff remain at the hotel in the capital of Mali following a gun attack. They're being held on the seventh floor.